So why STEAM week? Well last year we had a frog week where we focused all our learning on a book called Tuesday by David Weisner. It incorporated our science and our English and it had some fantastic results. We worked as a whole school together working on the same unit but with different genres and different aspects going on. It was brilliant and we wanted that feeling all over again. So we were trying to think of ideas and I had been doing some training with the University of Northampton in an area called STEAM which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts and Maths. Um, so we felt that actually maybe we should we'd be looking at those subjects on one of the areas that the children have been actively trying to teach me about is Minecraft. So we wanted to see how we could incorporate something the children were already engaged with and sort of almost hijack it for learning within school. Can you help us? This week we need you to be scientists, mathematicians, engineers and artists. Most of all we need your imaginations. We need you to build us a new world, a better world. We need you to build Bridgecraft. Um, so Bridgecraft came about um, with Minecraft. The whole ethos of the game is to create their own world. Um, so we felt we wanted Bridgecraft to be created within the school and the school almost to become its own video game, its own um, sort of involvement of a, of a video game, of the children's own interpretations. So we assigned a different um, element or aspect of the game to each year group. Bridgecraft is a big world and, and, it's, and we have to put it together uh, for Steve. This is my shade and it's for Steve. It's like poor clay. I use maths in my shape town. In maths, we make units with cubes. Also, in our art, linking to our science, we learnt about the Fibonacci art of the spiral. This was to help us pack up all our seeds into the middle of our plants so they could survive and not die out. Um, at first I was a bit sceptical about Steam Week because obviously it was about Bridgecraft Minecraft and I wasn't sure whether a lot of year one children would know what Minecraft was. But when we went into the assembly they were so sucked in by it all and just I've got a little boy in my class who's literally just sitting there just like amazed by it. And they all knew Minecraft which is brilliant. The science learning that we got out of them was amazing because everything was to help Steve and to help build their own creature so they were really just really attentive on the ball giving you loads of options it all came from them this is dog legs this is the fish body this is the box out and then and the easiest thing to do was the blogging because as soon as you walked around you were taking pictures I thought it was going to take ages, you'd have to think about it but really it's two seconds, you're walking around with your iPad you look what you, what you want to take a picture of and up goes the blog Through the daily assemblies we really found that we were promoting our speaking and listening with the children um, the start of the week they were very hesitant to come up and, and talk about what they had done by the end of the week they were shouting it right up to the end and everyone could be heard, even our reception children. And just the, the richness of the vocabulary that children were using in mm. terms of their learning and that reflecting on why it is that they have done so well or why it is maybe why they haven't unlocked a level or what they could do better was just amazing to watch. Um, mm. Steam Week at Bridgewater has really, really brought the children's imaginations alive. Um, we've had lots of feedback from parents who came in and looked at the exhibition. Um, year six, which is the year that my daughter Willow is in, um, was looking at animal habitat, Minecraft. Um, Steve, who came flying in to see them, gave them loads and loads of ideas and really, really brought it to life for them. They had some amazing stuff out there on their exhibition um, and the enthusiasm in their faces and in the work that they've done. Um, really show that they're taking everything on board. It's been a real, real success and looking through the years we've had comments like it's been the best day ever and then the next day was even better. Um, so from our point of view um, it's it's been a real living, breathing project so it's been very, very successful.
as a massive Minecraft fan, my son was so excited on day one of Steam Week when he came home from school and said that Steve had been to school to ask for their help. Um, he said it was just the best day of school ever. Um, I think within year two they created, uh, I think trees were their theme. Um, so they did sim uh, symmetry of trees, building their own trees, bringing in some art to that as well. It was the ethos of as every day, the assembly, the children were walking into assembly excited, ready to go, eager to learn, ready for that next step. Um, and all talking about it as they were coming into assembly. There was that, that lovely buzz, um, which was then uh, reciprocated by the parents. They were coming to us and talking about how their children were going home and talking about their learning that day and how they'd been enjoying the project and wanting to get on the blogs and, and sharing it with them at home, um, which they may not do on a, on a normal sort of school day. I've got two boys at Bridgewater, uh, Archie in year five and Freddie in year two, and they were thrilled with the whole idea of Minecraft. They absolutely loved it from start to finish. It really inspired them. Each day someone in your class needs to report back on how you were doing. Good luck, Bridgewater. So STEAM Week's been brilliant this week. It was science, technology, engineering, art and maths, and it started with the teachers all planning and um, getting all their ideas together and working together as a team and they planned some really fantastic activities for the children with lots and lots of ICT and last night to recognise the success of STEAM Week we won the Chronicle on Education ICT Awards which we're delighted with um, so the teachers came up with this amazing idea that Steve the Avatar would come into school and his world had been destroyed and the children had to rebuild it through lots of exciting tasks and the children have just been amazing. They had a fantastic week. They produced incredible um, things. They've engineered things, amazing artwork and science all around the school. And the whole place was buzzing with excitement. Um, it was a really successful week and it ended with a fantastic exhibition as well, of course, as the amazing award that we've received. So it was well done to everybody, the whole team.